I, I want to see how you understand what is it that is shifting when people are healing on, on an emotional, spiritual, and physical level. <laughs> Such a good question. I love yeah. your question. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Well, when you ask that, the, the vision I got is like, there's a moment where I can see it on someone's face. Mm. There's a moment, and, and this to me, I mean, I just taught a big class in London uh, a week ago. And I, and I told some of the people that came, I said, those moments when someone is coming up and they're really going deep into a meditation and they, they feel an emotion or they have a memory or a thought that feels extremely uncomfortable. Like maybe it's a thought of trauma, like an experience, they had a memory of trauma that they forgot about or, or all of a sudden they, they feel like they can never get anything right. Whatever that is, it, it, we all have those things that really yeah. disturb us. And there's that moment where if you just stick with it, if you just bring your attention to that pain or that that discomfort, instead of instead of being like, oh, I got to go back to work or, oh, let me think about what I'm doing after this, but just breathe into it. Then it starts to show you that it's an illusion, mm. that that's not real. That it's actually a pattern. It's a, it's a habit that someone taught you to think that you're never good enough or that you're not pretty enough or that that matters. And, it, and it's in these very, very delicate moments when you're becoming more present of your own mindset or your own worldview or identity of yourself. And so literally all I need is five minutes with someone. <laughs> And just, I'm like, just, just let's push it a little further where you just hold your attention on those moments. Sometimes it just feels weird. People say, I, I, I don't know why, but I just felt weird all of a sudden. And I'm like, oh yeah, it's, it's an emotion that's been suppressed for years. An emotion like anger, an emotion like fear that you haven't allowed yourself to feel that's now coming up to be seen. And you just let yourself see it. And then you realize the shift is you realize, Oh, oh my gosh, this is just an old program. This is an old belief. This is right. this is an illusion and it's not real. And once you get past that, you then get to come into Let that greater go. consciousness of what of what you decide is real, what you want to create. I love that. Thanks for answering that question. <laughs> I hope it, that made sense. No, it totally made sense. Um, yeah, because in my own personal experience of healing, doing breath work or, or other techniques like that, it always brings out certain memories that you forgot about. And it, it shows that those memories are deep into your subconscious. Ooh. So deep, yes. right? But the fact that it you can bring it up with these whatever practice you're doing, like that gives you a chance to be aware and then to to decide, do I want to keep this or do I want to let it go? Like, does it even make sense? Right? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I love it. Um, another yeah. question I have for you is when pe- when that memory or that emotion comes up, how do you encourage people to let it go? Do you encourage them to just like talk about it or like scream? Some people will scream. Some people like release their emotions in different ways. So yeah. How do you guide someone through that once it's come up? Yeah. This is one of the reasons why I love to use uh, breath work with energy healing because the breath is one of the ways that our body literally releases what we don't need. Mm-hmm. Right? Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> so we're doing we it have, all day, every day. Yeah, exactly. And think about think about when you have like a really tense exchange and then you sigh. <sighs> That's the physical body's way of releasing tension. Mm, And so what I find is that we have, especially in our Western culture, we have a lot of ways of withholding, releasing. So like when I say we withhold, we, we don't, we're not allowed to cry at, at our job. We're not allowed to scream when we're mad, right? There's so many things. And some of these things make sense because it keeps us from like hurting ourselves and other people. I get it. But we do need to release anger. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And anger is a valid emotion that actually helps us go up in our uh, emotional intelligence. It allows us to actually do things to help ourselves, right? If we, if we keep moving past things like revenge, we can get to, oh, you know, I'm angry. So instead of lashing out, I'm going to move out, right? So we can use these emotions, but often we suppress them. So mm-hmm. what I find is really helpful is breath work because we can release right then and there as we're feeling the tension and the energy of the things that we usually suppress. But another thing that I 
I really uh, make sure to encourage people to do is to cry because I don't think people realize how much, how many tears they are withholding, yeah. not realizing that tears isn't about being a baby. I mean, I cry all the time, so I feel like yeah. me and my friends totally get it. Yeah. <laughs> But, but a lot of times there's like a lot of spaces and places and people that we can't actually release tears with and in front of. And so we kind of do that even in our own private lives when tears are literally the body's way of releasing chemicals, hormones, yeah. stressor hormones that yeah. actually inflame our body and keep us in a state of stress. So so one of the things that I do a lot when we're in our breathwork sessions, I use music and a lot of prompts to say, let go of your tears. And sometimes people feel like they almost have to force them out. And I say, don't force them out. Just notice how much you're fighting your mm -hmm. tears. And then what yeah. often happens is people will start to release it in other ways. People will laugh. Mm -hmm. People will start coughing. They'll start mm -hmm. shaking. But it's all the same to you, right? It's all a way to release. And it's all a release. I love it. So, th so there's no judgment between like different types of release in your eyes. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. That's wow. exactly what I will always say. There's no judgment. Sometimes people fart. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> Just anyway, <laughs> let that energy out. I'm like, good that. job. <laughs>